Welcome to the most action-packed video you have ever seen. Almost an hour filled with golden trevelli, queenfish, stingrays, grouper, snapper, baiting, and edging. Welcome. This is Berok Jetty gone crazy. No, you're wasting my memory space. Okay, welcome to another video this video is gonna be one of the best videos so far it's gonna be a mix of happiness excitement and sadness at the same time it's gonna be a really really long video hopefully and we are gonna have loads of fun hopefully we catch loads of fish tomorrow today is the 18th tomorrow is the 19th which is a friday and this is the first day phase two is happening so I'm going to be going to Bedok Jetty, and today's going to be the first time we can fish in two months. I've got high expectations. Maybe I'll be able to catch one or two and hook one or two at least, and we'll see how that goes. And I'm going to head on right into the footage. No fuffing around. Let's get straight into this. Yo, you? Oh, Dalang. You can just pull it up, right? Huh? Do you need a gaff? Probably not, right? Probably not. No, you need to, you know, you lift it up there. Yeah. Wait for it first, it's still running. I can lift it up. Okay. Thank you. Nice one. Let's go. First of the day. Yep. What fish is it? Oh, I can't see anything. What the lang? Queenfish. Sam, Sam, quiet. That's two at once. Let's go. You want? Okay, okay, okay. Yes. Good job. Thank you. No problem. Oh no, is it there? All of a sudden went slack. Oh dad, go! Did you lose it? It's still there. Go, 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 go faster. Still there. We're still on. Nice one, Dad. I got, I got, it's okay. Thanks. Let's go. How does it feel, huh? Good. Yeah. Let's go. Whoa, it's a nice one. Is it? Uh, not yet, not yet. It's still coming, still fighting. That's a nice slab. Look at that. Hey! Oh, watch out. Don't let it touch the rocks. You ready for the gaff? I think if we pull it up, it should be okay. Yes! Let's go! Thank you, high five! And fry everything. Yeah. Let me help Sam.
。哎，东东，应该不算大条的。I can't take care. Okay, thank you. Looks okay. Looks like I have some yellow inside the middle of the road. Looks like I have some yellow inside the middle of the road. Come on, show yourself. I already saw, I think it's a queenie. Yeah, this is... Smallish. But it's okay. You can fight though. Yeah. There we go. Lie. No, it's okay. No, okay. No. Nice. And... Whee! There we go. You're the man. That's number three. Okay, okay. Thank you, Ben. Oh, come! Quack, quack, quack. That one had a nice run. Let's go. That's a better one. That's... Really? Looks like needlefish. Swimming towards us. Good job. What is it? Let's see. Oh, some popong. There it is. You can carry that up with it, right? Yeah, Watch out, guys. That was... Wait. Why is that slack? There we go. Nice one. Hot tamban hook. <laughs> Queenfish with the tamban hook. Nice one. Another fish. Strawberry grouper. Nice one, Sam. Oh, look what it coughed up. Coughed up a crab. Put that back. Let's go. Huh? No. Oh yeah, that's queenfish. Is that my rod? Oh, I have one. Give me a second. Can I, Dad? Dad, can I? Thank you. Dad, can you get the camera? Hey! No, no. Lie over there. Huh? Can we get the gaff, Dad? You know, you know we're near the gap. I'll take you into the rocks, Benji. I'll be worried about it going under there if I was you. Meow. Yeah. Thank you, Yow. Yeah. Thank you, Yow. Yeah. Can you keep recording? What? What? It's out there. Oh, yeah. nice. Yeah. Yeah. Dalang, dalang. Dalang, dalang. There's your gap. My dad's going to get it. Oh! Nice size! No! Oh, you joke! No! This is crazy. We have three queenfish on. One over here. What's that, Sam? Nice size, queenie. One over here. Shmi. Sam Pokong. Another one over here. And I think we lost one over here, didn't we? 
I still got, let me see. Oh, uh, oh wow! That's really huge. Here, do you want me to hold it? Do you need help? Good job. Good job. Yeah, nice one. That's a nice wolf herring. Got another queen fish over here. There we go, small one. Another one over here. Yes, yeah, okay. And we have another one over here, which is probably the biggest queen fish. Yo, you. Recording, let's go. <laughs> I think I can carry. Another, what's that, Queenie? Queen, 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 Queen. Hey, I'm here too. You choose, you choose, you choose. Lop on, lop on. Lop Yeah, that should be good, wait. Okay. Well done. Well done. Oh, this yellow top corner. Wow. Nice one, Uncle. This yellow hole. Another one. Oh, what the? Oh, 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 I got a bite. Decent size? Good size, good size. It's okay, they're, they're okay. Take okay, okay. Oh, that... Whoa. That's like the size I had before. Uh, mine was bigger, I think. Yay! Oh, it's higher. It's higher. It's higher. There we go. <laughs> Got vision off. Oh no, it's okay. Oh, you don't get to get to get to get to get to get to get Another one. Hi. Yeah. 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 This one? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
我先尾巴啊！我下不得菜哦！我下不下不下！哎，先背有肉啊！有啊！哈哈哈！这些木鬼，小心啊！谢谢，谢谢。Another one. Nice job. Good job. I'm sorry. Try to get away from this pillar here. Here it comes. I fight hard though. Oh, you you going okay? Oh, someone else is lining. That's my fish. Thank you. There you go. Wow. Two pound, two pound. <laughs> two point three. Oh wait, wait, what happened? Oh, you do it again. Let's go. Not small, man. Here we go. <laughs> Ooh. It's so much better on edging gear. Yes, yes. That's the best. I can't wait. It's like a cheap one, you know? Oh, yeah. And then. Heaven yet, heaven yet. Just pull. Just, just, just hold. Hold. You need to reel, bro. You, 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 you must not stay still. <laughs> you need to reel. Two pounds, man. Relax, man. <laughs> Two pound, two pound, three pound is very strong. <laughs> and then imagine, Ew. imagine the people with one pound line, how much they're struggling. Oh man, I haven't even gone down there. One point <laughs> six, my lowest. Yeah. Crazy. Damn, bro, you need to reel, man. Not just for your rod. Go down fast, then faster reel, really. <laughs> you need to control him. He's already weak. These fish are so strong. Yes, absolutely, man. Oh, damn, damn. Was that yours? Yeah, man. No, not mine. No, no, no. Oh, okay. Yeah. Just a just jump. Fish. <laughs> oh, just three months of not coming here. You, know, <laughs> you should have seen it in the morning. I have twenty cellar yellow tail scat. Cellar, really? I've got twenty wait, in there. Wait, wait, wait. No, wait, no, in the morning. I have them in my box. Twenty. I'm not oh, kidding. Where, where did you? Just start? here with my tamban hooks. Oh really? It, straight in the morning. There were so many. I was gonna put it on my Insta story to tell everyone. <laughs> <laughs> You need the real bro. Yeah, it's still strong, you know. <laughs> <laughs> it's not palm size, bro. <laughs> no. You're wasting my memory space. <laughs> I was going to say the same thing. Just pause, just pause. Okay, just pause. It's been five minutes. <laughs> All my battery's going to go. <laughs> this is at least five minutes really, man. <laughs> Bro, don't, don't, don't high stick, bro. Oh, no. You need the control. No, you're, you're above, you're above, bro. Okay, okay. okay. okay carry there. You need the control. Come to your right. Come to your right. Come to your right. Oh, that's a nice size. Wow. Oi. Oi. Two pound line. Easy, Aji. When he jump right, when, when he jump right, you don't, you don't, your line don't so tight, huh? 
Okay, keep his hair out of water. Try to control him. Pull your spoon. Ayo. <laughs> Come on, ah. Ah, mean. Come on, control him. Pull your spoon. Ayo. 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 Ayo.
Mine? Bring it up, bring it up. Don't bring it up. I think bring it up is better. Okay. Uh, which one? It's this one, right? Is that my line? Yeah, I think it is. Oh, so this is my fish? No. Oh my god, you guys are slaying. <laughs> oh my god. You you got 2.3, right? Huh? They say cannot. Yeah? <laughs> nice! Do you need the gas? Okay. I think the queen fish is starting, someone else just got one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the, the, it's just pushing the whole day. It didn't change in the morning at all. <laughs> you don't have to bother changing. <laughs> oh, shit. Maybe it's guy. The last clip of the day. Last clip of the day. <laughs> All right. Uh, yes. The stitch. Yeah. All right. He's look at this guy dancing with the fish. Right now. <laughs> the master here. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I never say anything, huh, Ismail? No master. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Queenie lah. Oh, it's yeah. a queen. Wow, it must be a small yeah. one, right? Yeah, small one. But it's a good fighter. Yeah. There it is. No wonder it didn't go in. <laughs> yeah. Because they normally don't go in. Yeah, Queenie's don't go in. If it was Saga, it would have gone on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then Tengiri. Mm. There you go. What are you using? Oh, hey, break? Oh no. Oh, yeah. Uh, yes. Oh, yeah. That's right. Oh, you see the gold handle? Yeah, it looks pretty. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that the one that you like the colorway of? Sorry? Is that the one you like the color of? I love the color of this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> now you have the RCS pool? But this one doesn't have RCS pool. Oh, okay. They have the alpha pool, right? It's kind of neat. But the loud sound, loud sound also not. Quite loud, but I think the the 2014 the sound is better. Hey, hey awesome. Is that Jody Brown? Yeah. She's good color, man. Nice. It's a good day today. Is that uh, what's this P P F D right? Oh yeah. P F D. Oh, he's wearing. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Do, you guys, do you guys want ice? I don't know. I don't know about him. I mean, you want ice? Dude, how do you open it? You want ice? You want ice? Sure? Nice. Can I, can I? Nah. Yeah, I'll give you some. Nah. How do you open it? Guy. All right, there you go. There you go. Nice one, man. Nice one, man. What is it? Catch and release. Nice, tiny one. <laughs> 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 
Nice job, guys. Thank you. Thank you. See, you see you guys next yeah, time. Man. We're on fire, huh? Yeah, man. Hey, can I see that? Look at that. Nice. Yeah, man. Subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Okay, so you might be thinking, well, Bedrock Jetty's over and the video must be over. No. So I'm first going to talk to you a little bit and then I'm going to take you to Light Salt Game and show you guys my new, um, uh, my first and new edging um, setup, which I'm going to get. And I'm also going to meet up with um, Jonathan, um, who owns this channel over here. Here's a link to his video right up here. Just click that. He does loads of edging videos. So if you like some of the clips that, uh, where like people are using edging gear, you might want to check him out. He's got some really, really exciting content. Um, I wanted to clear one thing up um, just about like today and everything so um, I have a feeling that people will be like saying oh why this is terrible why are people keeping so many fish why are people like um, keeping so lit like small fish and stuff like that um, to be honest I was upset there um, a little bit like of course like I was enjoying it and stuff there it was but like on the other hand like I get it if people like catch and keep a mature queenie and to be honest uh, queens like mature really really fast but i saw some people like keeping queenies that were like 20 cm which is definitely not their maturity size i believe it's like i can't remember i have to double check my book but like i think all the ones that i caught um were definitely over mature length because i um measured them and used my little booklet from um um marine shores of singapore um, but I was really upset because like some people were keeping some that were like that big and it's kind of ridiculous because often like people catch queenies that are that big on like little like on your sabiki rigs and everything and they just throw it back but like people were, like literally catch them that big and keeping them it was really upsetting and um people were, um and basically um you ca I can't do anything about that you know it's kind of hard to enforce people that are stubborn to like throw things away because think of it we haven't been fishing for two months and it's like some people like some local people kind of rely on this food and it's kind of hard to get it into their head that like you got to release these fish and i've tried before trust me it just some people just don't budge and there's just a few people that just will never ever just want to throw back the small ones which is definitely a shame and there was even one example you might be wondering hey why do you have so many fish you didn't catch that many no i didn't catch that many but um, there was one thing, um, loads of the guys that had like all their light salt game t-shirts, I think it was um, Nas from Nas Fishing, um, I'll put a link right up there if you want to check out his channel again. Um, basically, um, these people left and then all of a sudden he says, oh, you're keeping queen fish, right? It's because I'm keeping queen fish. I was planning on having like a barbecue tomorrow, but turns out we're not, so I'm just going to eat them tonight, two of them, and just, I just gave four away to a friend. Um, but they said they literally just caught them there killed the fish and just left it there and just didn't want it and it was it was just kind of like it's like okay i'll take it it's kind of ridiculous if you know what i mean um but on the bright side today it was um a really 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 interesting day and it kind of really shows us that after two months of just not fishing um how how many fish there are on the first day back it's just ridiculous and it's just if we keep on this trend where we just release all the fish and aren't fishing like that much i'd say then there's no doubt in my mind that every day could be like this and this was just a one-off day nothing like this has ever happened in my life i've been to bed already around 20 times and i've ever only ever seen one decent stingray being caught today there was three decent stingray hooked isn't that phenomenal and my pb uh queen fish was 3.5 and i hooked two queen fish that was 3.7 today that was absolutely mind-boggling it was just ridiculous um but this was just one of the most action-packed videos ever and i and i really enjoyed being there so um sure please go check go to bedrock jetty um go spread the message that people could like you know um put back small fish but let's get straight on to my new edging setup so Let's head on to a light salt game now, let's go. Okay, I was just a little bit lost now because I'm on my way to light salt game now because John isn't here and I don't know where to go. So I just went on to 
grab because none of my other stuff was working. So now hopefully I'm on my way to light salt game now. We can get all the best stuff. I've got around $200 to spend. So let's see how this goes. I've got loads of battery, loads of memory card data. So let's do some research and let's see if I'm going to be able to get a queen fish on Sunday. Let's go. Bang, I hope you enjoyed that little montage uh, um, light salt game. I couldn't record too much since I was just in entertained the whole time. Ismail was like walking me through everything and it was great. Um, so I'm not, I wasn't able to show you what I really bought. I spent all my budget, to all $200. This is $193 here. And then I bought um, something else for like $7, which isn't on there. I used all my budget <laughs> that I had for uh, my stuff, but I'm pretty happy with what I have, and I'm really looking forward to using it. Um, first of all, let's go on to um, the reel I have. I actually haven't shown you guys the reel. I didn't get this from Light Salt Game. I got this on Carousel, and turns out it was actually from, um, is that place called? Fishing Buddy. So I got this from Fishing Buddy. This is the Daiwa Revos LH. 2000 um so it's a really really nice colored reel it's kind of like kind of like a got i would say like a dark gold color with some silver and some sprinkly black color you can't really see it here but it's like a kind of like a if you look at the night sky pretty much looks like that um 2.3 pinky line if you don't know what that is then you haven't lived yet um so pinky line is the line that most people use in Singapore for edging. Um, the biggest poundage that they had there was 2.3 line. So you see all this pink line? That's um, 2.3 pound line. Um, and let me see if I need to get the case. Bang. Yep. This is pinky here. And then, uh, yeah. Yeah, it says 2.3 pound line right up there for you um so pretty pretty cool it's from 34 and yeah i learned a lot with this i learned the pinky knot and stuff like that to help try my leader together um the next line i have as i have it two different types of lines i have that and then i have my joint line this is also from the same company um 34 and this is um 1.2 times uh, four uh, four point eight pounds so I'll just connect those two together that's really really cool so that's um, all the lines I have and then the next thing I bought I already had had these at home so I didn't buy those of course and then um, I got these these are called hemostats so I was told that um, they recommend getting this just in case like the fish really swallows your hook so these will help out. Um, they're basically um, four forceps, um, but these are called hemostats, so pretty much the same thing, I'd say. Um, next, next thing is, um, this is a 34 rubber case. This is where I'm gonna be keeping all my rubbers. Um, so this is, um, let me just open that for you. I was lucky today since they had lots of rubbers available. So I have it like arranged. I don't want it to fall out. I have it like really nicely arranged. So I've got the um, Dirty Brown Junior Straight Tail 34. Then I have the, another, sh uh, this is the Shimmer Bait, I think, yeah. This is like a, a see-through one with a, with red, red and white glitter patterns and I was recommended that by Ismail and then here's pretty much the same thing but it's a little bit murkier and I think it has the same colorway um but it's a uh, just smaller bait next thing is um pretty much the same color I would say to the dirty brown except this one kind of has a pink 
touch to it when I put it in front of light. Um, this one's just a larger version. I don't, I forgot all the names because I threw away all the packaging. Um, and then I have pretty much the same worm as that one just before, just a smaller size. I'll get those next to each other. But never mind, they're not smaller sizes. Um, <laughs> but yeah, that's the uh, next part. And then the last one I have is these sexy beasts. This is known as Sagai Candy. <laughs> People was calling it that. So this is another shimmy bait. Um, same bait as this, just different color. Um, I saw a few people catching queens with this today, so as I went there, many people recommended me to use that. <laughs> it's like, um, these two colorways just work. They call this a bread and butter setup. So the, you know, Dirty Brown Junior, and then the White Shimmer Bait. These are normally very, very hard to get hold of since they're, um, sold out, apparently, I've heard. Um... And then Ismail really recommended this color for it. It really depends on the situation, I would say. Um, so that's that. Um, really, really nice, um, sleek design. If I buy another one of these, I can actually slit, uh, slot it onto here. So it'd be like double sided, which is really, really cool. Um, next thing I had, um, I emptied all my lures from my lure box. I have them all in the bag. I kind of feel bad for them because I abandoned them. But here is my jig head box oh that's upside down okay so um i have the diver down 3.5 gram and then i have i think this is rocket plus right i can't remember the difference because there's two different models right there's one that's called the rocket magic i think which is the same thing but it has a bead here and then these are called the rocket plus and it actually has a hook so it kind of helps keep your bait on there. I think this is the Rocket Magic. Yeah, so all three of these up here are Rocket Magics. Um, this one up here is 3 grams, 2.5, and 2. So this like little thing comes in the packaging. And then I just cut it out and put double-sided tape. Um, also, I have this um, fly hair from, um, I made when I watched the Power Anglers video. I'll link that right up there. You might want to click on that if you want to learn how to make a fly so that's that and last but not least i think i didn't miss anything out else did i these sexy things over here <laughs> yeah um these are fish grips pretty simple um just to grip onto the fish really stylish last a long time as long as you take care of them um, I, I do have stickers on them. Um, AJ told me to get a sticker. So if you guys want to get an AJVM and Light Soul Game sticker, head on to um, Light Soul Game and you can buy them there. Um, I also have the Light Soul Game stickers, which I haven't put on this side yet. So I'm going to put AJ sticker here and then the Light, um, Light Soul Game one here. And I might put um, some on this side as well. Uh, maybe my own. I'll have to see. So that's pretty much it for the edging setup, except the rod, which is going to be coming soon, hopefully. Um, so I'll um, do a little thing with the rod It just now. Um, so, yeah, that's the rod. So I feel like that. Uh, I like the rod as well, and I like this reel because they kind of look really, really, really good to each other. And I kind of saw on pictures and thought that would work really well together. And when I was kind of buying my edging setup, I was I had a really really tight budget, so um, I bought a really cheap reel, um, a second hand rod um, from John, and then um, so this reel I bought from um, keep on forgetting um, fishing buddy for fifty nine dollars. This is a size two thousand, so yeah, um, fifty nine dollars considered really really cheap for a reel. So yeah yeah. Okay, I hope you guys really, really enjoyed this episode. This, um, normally my videos are more like a sit down and talk with you guys and kind of teach you guys how to do stuff. But this one, Circuit Breaker finally finished. Phase 2 cut finally opened. So we we're really able to go outside and have a look and see how it was going. And caught a few fish, got loads of action. <laughs> that, was, that, was a, that was a dream come true that day. That was like a, 
yeah i love that day so much i enjoyed it a lot even though people were killing fish unnecessarily which was a shame but you know it is what it is and hopefully it's gonna get better um just in case you guys wanna ever um help with like uh saving the amount of fish in our environment especially around singapore uh, i'm gonna leave a link down in the description to uh, marine stewards of singapore which i'm a member of with um so you can become a mem member too or participate in ev events sometimes we organize events but if you become a member um for a one-year member you should get like a little pouch with a shimano measuring tape and a like fish cards and then on the on the two-year one you get the same thing i think you also get a t-shirt and then we we have more um more merchandise being planned i think we have a t-shirt that's gonna have uh the t-shirt actually has like a measuring thing on the side on the arm which is really really cool so yeah that's it for today um put all um all my socials and everyone's socials that were in the video um that i could find it will be down in the description below and stay safe y'all i'll see you soon okay so we have come to the end of this action-packed video um i just wanted to put a quick disclaimer out there saying um that you may notice that my editing on this video wasn't as good compared to maybe some of the other videos i had so i didn't really use any green screen effects anything like that um because i wanted to get this video out as fast as possible as i just went yesterday and I think I'm going to try to post this video the next day. So it basically took me, like, I was working all night, staying up until, like, 4 a.m. Because I want to get this video out as soon as possible. Um, since all the, there's, like, still loads of fish around. And maybe we can try to make a difference as soon as possible. So we can, like, keep this amount of fish and a healthy stock while it lasts. And try to, you know, uh, make sure it doesn't go away. Because... It was fun, you know, and it's kind of like it makes me think that before I got like really, really excited when I was like catching one, like one kilo size queen fishing. It's like, oh, wow, this is what it could be. This is what fishing in Singapore could be without irresponsible anglers, you know. So be responsible. Um, Since we have unfortunately no laws in Singapore, even though I posted on my Instagram story and not one person said, oh, we shouldn't have uh, guidelines or regulations for size. 32 people flat 100% legit said we need laws seriously like this is getting a problem like it's it's hard to like say because I can't really do too much but hopefully you guys can like share this video and uh, we can do something about it but if that doesn't happen you guys can always follow the guidelines from M uh, Marine Shores of Singapore I'll link that down in the description there you can it's basically like the little booklet you've seen in different um, in my last um, videos on how to catch um, it's basically the fish identification thing and maturity lengths of fish. So basically, once they're mature, you can take them. So if you go to their website, it's updated constantly. Um, sometimes um, I'm actually still working on a post there. I'm going to write a, uh, a section in the blog about um, the Ike Jume method and stuff like that. So um, please spread the message. I hope you enjoyed the video. And um, I'm going to try to get another video for you guys, depending on how adjin goes tomorrow. Um, but we'll see how that goes. Um, oh, let me tell you one more thing, one more thing, one more thing. I didn't get to show this before because I was yesterday, but since John forgot to bring the rod that I bought off him, he brought it today. This is, um, the, this is the Slash Clear Vision CV672STA. And this is a, a slash edging rod. It literally says edging here. I'll actually take that out for you. Um, when I was choosing my budget for my edging setup, I was um, trying to spend less money on the reel and more money on the rod, as that's what I feel is more important because you really, really need cast those super lightweight. So that's what it looks like at the back. It has a, like a, that's for the reel over here really nice it's quite stiff at this side um but what i noticed is actually once you put it together um it's really really long and it's quite stiff until here but you see this 
orange part here so as they start getting orange it bends quite easily and I can literally do pretty much a 90 degree bend with this rod so really really good quality um, thanks for that um, so this is the rod I'm going to be using paired with all my stuff and reels um, looking forward to that video um, might be some other um, guest people there but I am not sure yet um, but we'll have to see that would be a much better video um, as I'm not really going to rush it like I rushed this video um, as I said, thank you for watching. Please share. See you next time on another adventure. Peace out. No, you're wasting my memory space. <laughs> I was going to say the same thing. <laughs>